Next, we meet a man who is the undisputed long-distance champion in the 1970s. He ran barefoot and still holds the national 10,000 meter record set in 1973. This is the story of PC Supaya. I didn't expect to be an Olympian, first of all. It started from the younger age, where I was born in Malaysia. I was not a Singapore citizen. And <clears throat> I have to pay a high school fees in Singapore because I'm not a Singapore citizen. So that's why, so I, some of them advised me, why not you take a sports and studies at the same time? So I planned it out, what to do. You see, in the younger age, I was playing soccer. I was more interested in soccer. So it comes to the certain stage where I have to give up soccer or running or study. There's a three choice for me. So I say, <clears throat> okay, why not? I'm a, not a Singapore citizen. And they advised me the best way to get a citizen, you must show yourself individually that you're your best. In soccer, I can't show. It's a team workout. So they advised me to take athletics. So I say, okay. I was training very hard because I know the Olympic standard is the best. That's number one. You see, where you have the Sea Games, you know, Sea Games, SEAP Games, Sea Games, Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, and Olympic. There's a maximum. The Olympic is the highest. You can't go beyond that. That's mentally, I feel that, you know, I have, I've been given a chance to go for the Olympic. I have to do something. So I was training very, very hard. I see the crowd. All the world athletes are there. Something you will, you know, as a sportsman, it's a gift for you to see them and all that. That's the highest achievement for me. But it was the 1971 Siap Games that bore the most significance for the man they nicknamed Sam. His Singapore citizenship papers was given to him just a day before he was to run the race of his life. When I qualified and all that one month before I go for the Siap Games in KL, Kuala Lumpur 1971, I asked them, what happened to my citizenship? I'm already 21. They say, yes, yes, wait, wait, don't worry. Before you leave, you will get your citizenship. I say, okay, if I don't get a citizenship, I'm not going to run. I'm going to give up. I was sitting down there, Mr. EWD Bakker was there, and, and he asked me, who is PC Supaya? Then I say, sir, I'm the one. I say, you. Then he used me, he used the first word. You're a traitor, huh? This is the word he used. I say, sir, why, sir? You're not a Singapore citizen. What are you doing here for the Singapore team? So what happened was this, he came here, come here. And he gave me a letter. He signed there, and all the citizenship. Because I have to come back to Singapore to sign. He said, this is your citizen. You know? He said, this is your citizen. Uh, you participate. I'm going to watch your race. How good you are. Then, I don't know what to say in that moment, you see, because I was, you know, I, even I don't get a medal, it's okay. I got a citizenship by his hand. That's the, you know, I take it as that's the citizenship, you see, because he signed everything and all that. What I have to do is come back, go to the, you know, you know, register myself and get the citizenship. That's all. Put my photograph and all that. So I signed and took it and said, I cried. My tears. Because this is what I said. So I said, sorry, sir. I'll do my best. So my race started at 3.30. Hot sun. I was shivering. Because this is the first time I'm going to run an international meet where I'm running for Singapore citizen and I got a citizenship in my hand. Last four laps I have, you see. So uh, the Malaysian guy was second. First was Burmese, second was Malaysian, third was myself. And fourth was the Malaysian again, you see. So uh, I was get lying on a third. So I overtook Ramasamy on the second, uh, on two more laps to go. So I was lying second. The Burmese guy, Hantan, he was about 50 meters ahead, 50 to 60 meters ahead. I say it's okay. As long as I get a bronze medal or silver medal, it's good enough. I can't get a gold, never mind. So after the 600 meters, the Burmese guy make a mistake. This is what is very important for the sport. He turns back. Every 10 meters, he turns back. Every 10 meters, he turns back. So I knew that, you know, he's not strong enough. So I went all out after the last bell rings. So I overtook him the last 100 meters. I overtook him. You see, and I finished it. I did 55.6 the last lap, so I won the gold medal. So when I got the gold medal, the finishing line, I was asking for water. So it was so hot and all that, my legs and all these things. So the papers put, I'm the greatest. But in fact, I didn't say I'm the greatest. I just want water and all. EW Debaker came down 
from the grandstand. He was making noise and all that. He came up and he hugged me. He said, you are my citizen. You are, you are my citizen. You are my Olympian. You are the best sportsman of the year. He just said it. PC ran at the 1972 Munich Games in 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters and managed to break the national record. 72 Olympics, I ran. And I was, I will never forget that I broke my own national record in the Olympic. Break the 32 minutes barrier. I did 31.59.6. So when you broke the national record, they give you a certificate in the Olympic. First, they give you a gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal. The other thing is anyone broke their national record, they give you a certificate. I have the certificate with me. So in other words, I have achieved something, but I did not get a medal. I came in 16. They give it to me. I'm very pleased of that, that I went for the Olympic Games and I did something. Well, I hope that we've enjoyed a look into our Olympic past and our very near future. Well, join me next week for another episode of Sports Illustrated.